What's going on CDL fans today? We're going to be opening up this hobby box of Upper Deck Call of Duty League trading cards. Now these just released yesterday on December 21st. Um, I had a pre-order in for this box. So this is a hobby box, which was $99. They also have a blaster box, which is $20. This one has, you know, better guaranteed stuff inside it. So we're going to bust this open and we're going to see what we can get. So switching on over to this cam, as you can see here, this is the first ever official Call of Duty League trading cards from Upper Deck. Uh, this is 15 cards per pack, 10 packs per box, so 150 cards, uh, definitely a lot. May contain time-sensitive redemption, so I guess there's a possibility you can pull a card that you have to actually send in to get redeemed. Um, this is kind of some of the things we can look for in here. So over here, you can see number to 25, uh, checklists and stuff like that. There's obviously autos, fan choice awards, contesting the point, die cuts... Uh, all different kind of stuff in here. You can pull one of ones. Uh, you know, obviously you can see more here. So here's like an, a die cut. You could pull like triple autos, double autos. So really cool stuff in this box. So let me cut this open real quick and unveil this box. Now, I actually collect cards, not like super avidly, but I do have some Pokemon cards, some basketball cards, some soccer cards, things like that. So I do know a thing or two about cards. Um, so I've been pretty excited for these since they announced these a while ago. Now this actually, it says 2021 Call of Duty League. So this actually has cards from 2020 and 2021. So the first two seasons of the CDL. Um, I think originally, I can't even, can't open this. I think originally what they were going to do was it was just supposed to be the first season. But they actually um, changed it. I guess hence why it took so long for this to release. But we can open this up and boom, you can see all the packs right here. So obviously there's 15 packs. I'm just going to move those to the side and we're going to go pack by pack. I do have sleeves and some top loaders over here on the side in case, you know, we pull anything cool that we need to uh, that we need to cover up, you know, and keep protected. So let's see if we can open up this pack without uh, making too much of a mess. But yeah, so there's going to be a lot of base cards in here. So we have a uh, Joey Nubsy. This is a rocker logo. So this was the team, I guess, as of this rocker year. So Standy, Attach, Priesta, Major Maniac, Accuracy, God RX, um, and the checklist. So we have that. We have TJ Halley. We have Sib. So this is when he was on the, the bench for phase. So that's kind of cool. I guess there's no like rookie symbols on these because like Mental would have been a rookie um which is cool so it has like their fake autographs i guess on the back of these things which is interesting um then we have uh phase versus dallas but yeah so we have this phase versus dallas champions uh dated card which is kind of cool so i guess this is uh this is one of the hard points card um so it says right there you can see like simp had 26.3 hard point eliminations per 10 minutes um, and Kook had 25.7, so that's kind of cool. It's a little insert card. Then we have Toronto Ultra clinches playoff spot. Home series. A little info on kind of like what happened in that series. That's kind of cool. Respawn player of the year, fan choice simp card. That's pretty cool there. Flip this back over. So this is a retro card. Ooh, this is a... Uh, like a... I forget what these are called, like a transparent, I think there's a specific word, so this isn't the retro, but this is a transparent Zuma from the subliners, that's kind of cool, these cards are a little slick. We got a retro Hydra, which is kind of cool. This card is very papery, a lot of these other cards are a little bit more of a thicker stock, this one's very papery. Diamond Con, Zapdius, a uh, Empire, and oh my god, there's still so many cards in here. Ramaza, Season 1 Map, and Neptune for Florida. Gotta try to go through these a little bit quicker because this is gonna end up being a super long video if I take uh, forever to go through these. But unfortunately, I can't even like open the packs. This is literally impossible to open. They really sealed these boys. All right, next pack, we have Silly, Aqua, Jordan General, base cards we have a saint petrograd season one map card we have zed we have kleenex we have optic chicago versus dallas empire uh hard points from march 5th 20 uh 2021 interesting 
we have a SND Clutch Player of the Year Fan Awards card Envoy. That's kind of cool. Minnesota Rocker Launch Weekend. This is when they uh, won, so that's kind of kind of dope. We have a Hollow card here, a Hollow All Stars Arsities. Oh, this is a die cut. Look at that. So this is a dominated die cut Arsities Hollow. So that's like our first. Uh, our first good card basically let me put that down for a second we're gonna have to sleeve that up i think uh we have a retro temp we have this formal base ultra afro and scraps so lots of base cards but we did pull a pretty sick uh Arsity's dominated die cut hollow card which is kind of cool so let me slide him on in to the sleeve and he'll go there because I'm not actually going to put this in a top loader as well because it's a die cut card. So a little easier to get the corners and stuff dinged up. So there we go. Our first kind of cool card, a little Arsties for the Chicago Huntsman. Maybe he'll be coming back to the team. As of right now, he uh, is rumored to maybe be getting bought out by Optic and going to be heading back on over to, uh, to Optic from LAG. So that's kind of cool see if we can open this up a little bit easier this time and move on to pack number three so we have sheen base kenny base la thieves logo card insight base so so many base cards fellow base looney then we have atlanta phase wins their home series so this is one of those home series cards i'm guessing yep we have uh ravens versus legion hard points look at that we have dallas empire doesn't lose so this is home series championship card so that's a new insert i think that we haven't seen yet then we have this die cut home series card what is this it's like envoy hype is that what this is called this is hype four over here at the top so that's another, I guess, another pull. I mean, the die cuts are, are obviously not normal. The like, they're not normal cuts. So those are kind of cool, I guess. Octane, Arklov Peak. Oh yeah, everyone loved watching Arklov Peak. Am I right? So there we go. So we have this home series. So this is from the London home series. Envoy. Uh, pretty interesting. I, why, I don't know why it says controller there. They only play controller. So that's kind of interesting. But there we go. Another die cut. You know, we're only three packs in and... We already have so many cards over here. I'm going to be building out an entire set, it looks like. Might have to might have to get a binder and actually build out this set. That can be kind of cool. Um, obviously, I don't know if there's going to be any resale value in this type of thing. The Call of Duty League only has so many fans. And then, obviously, um, you know, there's only so many fans of the Call of Duty League that collect cards as well. So who knows what if there will be any resale value in any of this. But I don't really care because I'm more in it for the fact that I like it. Uh, there's another Clutch Player of the Year Envoy, so a bunch of these, I guess. Uh, Florida Tops Toronto, Florida Unioners, Minnesota versus Ultra, Battle of the North right there. Another one of these home series die cuts, this time for the New York home series, uh, Accuracy. So I'm going to make a separate pile of these right for now and just uh, sleeve them up afterwards, I guess. Who do we have here? We have Dylan, Retro. Abizi, Express Season 2, Methods, App, and London. So once again, a lot of cards. We should be getting, um, I think we should be getting an auto at least in here, at least one auto. Uh, so we will see how many we end up actually pulling. But I would absolutely, obviously love an auto. You know, if I had to get an auto from anybody, I'm sure like most people, a skump auto would just hit different. But uh We'll take what we can get here. I don't think we've actually gotten a skump card. There's St. Petrograd again. Zed. This is a new design. I haven't seen this one yet. Top players. Hardpoint kills per minute top players. So this is the vivid kills per minute hardpoint top players from, uh, I guess, I don't really know what season this is from necessarily. Um, I'm guessing the first season because I see Dylan's name on there. I don't think he played in the second season. Um, Phase moves on. Cool. Duo of the year, T2P. And oh, there's our there's an auto right there for mental. Um, not in the league anymore, unfortunately. So that's uh, not exactly the auto we would have wanted to pull. 
Um, but I think there maybe there's two autos in here. I'm honestly not 100% sure. But um, I'm just going to sleeve up the auto right now because I guess it is an auto. But at the end of the day, unfortunately, we got mental, no shots at mental here. But I'm sure he would agree that his uh, CDL uh, league experience, his CDL career didn't uh, exactly go as planned, unfortunately. So... Maybe we'll pull something different or something better, better, better going forward in the, some of the rest of these packs. I would love to get a uh, another auto or a numbered card, something like that. Cami, Crim. It's kind of weird that they wrote Crim six like that. I think he went with C six technically this year, um, but I don't think he's ever spelled his name Crim six with the number like that that I can remember. Hackney Yard, Gunless. Here's another one of these cards, top players. Um, this one was in, which was this in? Overall KD, so that was Octane. Uh, fan Choice, Mayor of Verdansk, Rambo. That's kind of cool. Uh, Phase wins Elimination Final. Then we got another auto. This time we got Zed. Um, you know, another player who definitely had a better career than Mental, but is obviously not... Um, What's the word? Not a, you know, not a top star player, but, you know, I, I, I can get, I can get down a little bit of Zed for sure. So there's another auto right there. Solo Inc. Zed. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I think we still have four packs remaining. So a little bit over halfway there. This is like never ending. I'm going to have to figure out how to cut this video up so it's not super, super long. Um, we got P-Dog. Guys, current teammates. Look at that. Uh, we got Garrison, Simp, there's a Skump, Seattle, Abizi, this is going to be one of those top players and overall kills. That's actually kind of cool, you don't see this stat too often. So these are the top overall kills, I guess, in the first year of the league. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Dropping things. We have Atlanta Phase win second home series. Match of the year, Phase versus Ultra. We have a, another transparent card, this time of Celium. So we have Zuma and Celium transparent. We've been getting, I guess, a retro card in each one of these packs as well, which is kind of cool. I kind of I kind of vibe with the retro cards. They're not too bad. Um, I like the way they're... I like the design. They, they're obviously, like I said earlier, more of a paper um, than a chrome kind of finish on the cards compared to the rest of them. But they are pretty cool. Looks like we got... Something of maybe a different color coming up in this pack. I can't really tell. We got Gunrunner, Alex, Shotzi, LAG, Octane again. This is probably for KD. Regular season hardpoint KD. Marksman of the year, Weskin. Florida Mutineers. Florida earns second Paris. Florida earns second Paris win. What does that mean? Oh, during the Paris Home Series. Then we got an Apathy die cut. Pretty cool right there. I'll put that there for now. We will sleeve these up afterwards. Prestini, Retro, Envoy, Draws, Optic Chicago, Logo, God RX, and Vance. That's pretty cool. And these cards do not want to stay stacked. This stack is getting massive. Two more packs. And then we can do a quick little recap of kind of uh, what we pulled. Um, based on our autos, it's not looking amazing, but you know, what can you do? Standoff season two map. What a good map. Paul X, Temp, Florida, Venom, Mac, Dallas Empire, Empire holds off Rocker. Kind of cool, I guess. West skin. Top players, regular season domination. KD, I can't believe they played domination in Modern Warfare 2019 as an actual competitive game mode. Um, Chicago defeats LA. Another die cut, this time of a BZ, it looks like. So that's kind of cool. I, you know, I can get behind an ABZ. ABZ app and RCD. So all two ring, uh, two ring guys there for our die cuts so far. Hydra, Paris, Slack, Illy. Not too bad. And on into our last pack. As you can see, empty box. 
last pack mojo maybe we pull something sick if you're still with me at this point in the video let me know down below if you picked up any of these cards but uh you know obviously this is a long video so we have subliners slasher attach prestini we have moscow season two map skump this is what is it what's this top players playoff kills so i guess skump got the most kills in the playoffs or something like that pretty cool uh chicago huntsman win in seattle that's a pretty sick card look at that look at skump standing up screaming then this is a skump pack huh best veteran fan choice award skump we got a pharaoh card r.i.p pharaoh i mean drop an f3 in the comments for pharaoh seriously taken too soon he had such a a bright future ahead of him in uh in the league for sure formal retro havoc checkmate assault Celium, and empire so overall um i don't even know if we pulled any numbered cards so real quick we'll go through so we got this london home series envoy um card we got this rc's hollow dominated die cut Try and pick these up without ruining them because I got to sleeve these up. We got an Abizi dominated die cut hollow. Apathy. I mean, I'm guessing all these dominated die cuts are hollows. Um, and then a New York home series uh, accuracy. Uh, whatever you want to call that home series die cut type card. And then our two autos were Zed and Mental. So probably um, two of the worst autos you can pull from this checklist. Unfortunately, no offense to either of these guys, but you know, we get what we get and we don't get upset. Am I right? So if you did enjoy this unboxing, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more. I'm going to pick up probably some blaster boxes for sure. Uh, we'll see what's still in stock after Christmas um, when I get home from the holidays. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.